Well, now the fun part. Everybody, all the cows are rounded up in the pen. We have myself, Curtis, and Nathan will all be in trailers. So we have 52 cows to move. We'll average eight and two thirds per load. So two trailers are gonna take nine. One trailer is gonna take eight. And we'll get these guys moved. We have vet appointments at noon, so in about a half hour. So that'll be about right. We'll get all these moms moved back to the birthing suites. Time to get antsy. Bass. I'm bass. Ronald's just pulling up with the trailer. We would sort nine them out and put them in that trailer and get them out of here. Let's go. Yeah, you might have to sneak out of there. Just stand right behind the yep, there. Okay. Just just to make sure we don't butt them against that gate back there. That's what I'm worried about. Yeah, why don't you stand back there? Yeah. Come on. Come on. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, 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 hey. Come on. Hey, come on. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. You want to. Come on. Let's go. Hey, hey. Come on. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Dude, you got to hold back. You got to hold the gate. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't get it. Let's go. Hip. Mic reset. Well, that was fun. I got nine of them on me. Let's get out of here. Nine mamas heading south. To the, we're gonna stop at the vet, we're gonna preg check them. We're gonna basically do all their vaccines and the shots and their checkups. And then we're gonna go uh, take them to the farm, to the birthing suites for the next couple months. Curtis just pulled in, as you can kind of see. And here comes Nathan. Okay, I'm on my way to Preston, because I want to get these all re-tagged the way they should be. So my hair is a mess, I know. I want to get these done so that we kind of know what's going on with these cows. Be able to swing the gate open. Yeah, we'll be alright. Yep, okay. At the vet. Now we'll dump these mamas off and go get the rest of them. There you go. Come on, ladies. And like I said, Nathan Curtis should be right behind me, and I'll go back and get some more, get my second load. There goes Curtis. And Nathan is right behind him. Come on, let's go. Come on, hip, hip, hey. hip. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Hi. Hip, hip. I'm in the way here. So we need to put a tag on it. Yep, about seven months. Actually, we can take that one out, I guess. You're fine. Seven months? Sometimes if you 
see the visual instruction too. I got it. I'm a genius. Okay. Here we go again. Should have nine plus nine plus eight low cows left. So whatever that is, 26. See if we can get them in. Starting to get a little sloppy on top. Hopefully you don't get stuck. Are you shooting for April on these, bud? Or yeah. March? Well, March, April, whenever they come in, I guess. I don't know. Come on, hip. Uh, this one has a 61 on this side. 61? 61. The six is really dark. The one is not. You made it back home. Was she missing? Yeah. All the gals are loaded up. Got nine more sitting there, and Nathan's almost almost here. So I'm gonna take off with this load. And that's gonna be it for the cows up in Bellevue. Well, I should say the 2022 cows in Bellevue, because they'll be back up here in probably May-ish time frame. Let's roll. How you doing? I'll come back. Come on, let's go. Yeah, yeah. Come on. This is one here is the one that usually has twins. Come on. Oh, she usually has twins? Yeah, like seven out of the last eight years. Come on, yeah, yeah. I know, you're a little fat. I think you got twins again, to be honest. Tell you what though, I take this for granted, but the Mississippi River is massive and beautiful. You said you had about 50 head, yes? 52. Is that I'm good? I'm just wondering for when I mix up more vaccine. Yeah, uh, yeah, I know. You're mad at me, that's too bad. Hi. Hey Pat, how's it going? Oh, bad little way, how are you doing? Pretty good. Just getting to the vet for the last time. Pat's gonna swap out with me. So you're a kicker, huh? <laughs> Yeah, we just bought these, those nine of them we just bought last year. And oh, okay. Are they a little more rowdy than you can? They, they don't, they weren't around people a lot. So you gotta be careful. So I well, just, they're coming around. Is there any more out there? There's three out there. Any open? Knock on wood. 26 down. Four. I think that was 11. Count ten. Well, Whatever it is, I'll count my name out. Twelve should be on Curtis's trailer. Twelve? Number, no, number, number twelve. 12. Oh. Curtis That's thought the same thing. <laughs> we'll keep at it. Yep. There goes ten breaded cows down. And they're sorting the rest. We have 17 more left to get here and 10 left. And so far out of the 26 that we've had so far. All of them are pregnant between six and eight months. None of them are open, which is awesome. Usually with a bull, when you're on a bull, 95% is what you shoot for. So basically, if you have 100 cows, 95 of them will have calves. That's what you shoot for with a bull, and if you get above that, you're having a good year. So I hope and pray we have a good year, but now I need to take a load of grain down to Clinton, because the semi that I loaded up two weeks ago is still loaded. Come on. Come on.
This one might have a foot if I remember right. Okay, yep, I see it right there. Okay, I thought number three did. No, I just got to trim the toes there. Never done that before either. Really? I love it when cows stick their snouts and ears out, out of the window, or out of the uh, holes in the trailer. I think it's just so cute. So there's Pat right there, and then I'm gonna hop in the 99 Freightliner. And I filled up, like I said, a week and a half ago, a car to this video right here. Doing a quick free trip. Making sure everything's working, all the flashes are good. And we'll roll. Pat already had this thing started. A little cold in here with no heat, but it'll work. It's not too bad outside. It's 40 something degrees outside. It's nice because it'll start melting some of the ice. Southbound and down. What are you doing? Huh? She's driving at seven to eight months. Doc, you want to take a look at something hard right here? Oh, oh. sure, I can take a look. Piece of metal or something. So. Or, you know what? It's, it's really hard. Mortars oh, on. shoot, we got to get rid of our number 12. Damn it. <laughs> Seriously? No. Hello, uh, Ron and Crystal's farm. There it is, right here. Right here on the left. Ah, I'm so pumped, guys. So pumped. Any uh, farm management tips that my farmers out there have, drop in the comments below. I'd really appreciate it. Just rolling in the clip. That nice of a truck, jeez. Just waiting before the probe. Man, that is a sharp truck. Probably me. CV quit working. Or the me being able to, I can hear everybody just fine, but talking uh, was not working. So I had to walk up there, like the walk of shame. That's the walk of shame for truckers. The app says an hour to wait, and I believe it, because we got two lines here at the uh, staging lot. And after about an hour wait, finally made it to the scales. Yay! So now I'll probably get another half hour wait, and then we'll be out of here. Head back home so I can get some lunch at three. 45. That truck right there is a giant vacuum cleaner. I'm guessing so the middle lane is shut down. I'm guessing the pit was plugged for some reason, and when that happens, we gotta call in a giant vacuum truck. To get it cleaned out. Almost made it. Very much close. That's the size of their leg cups. Holy crap. Good grief. Those are huge. There wouldn't be a day of hauling if I didn't have to fuel something up. But hey, at least on the bright side, I'm filling up this really expensive diesel that cost 420. Blaze it. Now I'm hungry because I haven't had lunch from Grammy yet. So uh, we're definitely gonna have to make that happen. All the mama cows are back in the yard. Oh yeah. Okay, we got them all run through. Uh, hopefully we got them all taken care of, I don't know. I'll have to look through this paperwork later on and see what's going on, but it was something, it was fun, it was interesting. Job well done by all, Cody helped, Cody Sieverding, Chad didn't show up. Two, Ron, Curtis, Nathan, Pat, myself. Job well done guys, we got her done. So I'm gonna go up and eat. We're gonna power wash these trailers off. So we appreciate who the guys that let us borrow them. Transferred some bean meal around. Why, I don't know. But regardless, I'm hungry. It's four o'clock and uh, we're just now getting grandma's dinner. I'm sure she is very enthused about that. <laughs>
And after a delicious meal with grandma, I drove up to Bellevue and now I got a meal. No, 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 not, not a meal with the tax guy. I got a meeting with the tax guy. See you guys after that. Well, I just realized I did not submit or, oh gosh, it's way too late. It's like one in the morning here. But anyway, I did not real. I just realized I did not a, uh, do an outro for this video. So I do apologize for that, but I am in Brazil right now. Just want to catch you guys up. It's uh Saturday. Well, I mean, you guys are, it's, it's Saturday the day, the day you guys are going to watch this. So I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you guys so much for making this way. Let me be flat out. I'm really excited about the video that you guys are going to get next Saturday. I have been in Brazil for the last two weeks. Brazilian farming is just different from the trucks to the combines to the fields to everything. Huh. Man, I'm really tired. It, it, it's amazing. So it's, it's going to be cool. I really hope you enjoy it. But anyway, that's next week. I hope you guys do have a great week. Thank you guys so much for watching. Take care. Take it easy. Stay safe. Pray for my safe travels. And as always, Pat for now.